Hey everybody, welcome back. This is going to be a quick review of my PAL POW MR PAL Mister Palmer Hybrid Solar Inverter. Um, this is a 50 amp unit, 3 kVA, uh, 24 volt battery, and it's a 110 volt unit. This is a off grid hybrid inverter, so that means when the power goes out. Whatever is connected to this will maintain running off of battery, or it can act as its own standalone grid. Be sure to like and subscribe. I really appreciate you guys and all of your comments and using the Amazon affiliate links. It really helps out. This unit has an 80 volt DC uh, input. Uh, it's the only kind of gripe I have about it. I think it could be higher, like 150 volts. Let's just measure it real quick. Bear with me. I'm measuring and filming. Uh, we're going to be right about 10 and a half inches. By, I would say this is right at 14 inches. You know, it kind of slopes there at the end, but from what I could tell, it's right at 14 inches. And uh, there's a little piece of wood on this side, so this isn't really a good measurement. I'm going to switch the other side here in a second. Right under four inches. So, I mean, the description matches that. They were able to accurately describe their product. This little door, uh, I zip-tied it. I zip-tied it. I'll show you later in the video that, but I kind of have trouble opening it. It's actually kind of better than taking the screwdriver to it and undoing the little screws at the bottom. Here's the connections. Everything's laid out pretty simple in a stacked configuration. Here are the fans. You can see they use two different size fans, two different types. I'm not sure if that's for velocity, airflow, or maybe they just weren't able to fit everything in the case. Uh, we're just doing a little standard paper test. You know, this this unit this unit isn't ramped up. It's only using about 50% right now. It is in use in this video. I'm currently powering a washing machine off of it, which I'll show you in the menu later when we scroll through the video. As I said before, not a very strong fan. You can really actually barely hear it running. I purchased this unit in uh, October of 2021, and I think it's done a good job. It's withstood the test of time. I've definitely gotten my money out of it. I think at the time I paid about 300 bucks. I'm sure the price has changed now to this day. Um, these are the inputs for the PV panels. These are 8 gauge I have in here. Um, they're not hot. They're not hot to the touch. They're currently, you know, there's solar coming in as we speak. So be careful where you touch things. I'm not going to touch these. These are the inputs for the grid and the output for the power strip or whatever you're trying to power. I run just a regular power strip and then plug everything into it. Uh, man, I said I wasn't going to touch it. But these are standard. You're definitely going to be able to fit, you know, your 12 gauge, 13 gauge, or not 13, 12, 14 gauge, 16 gauge wires in there. Um, caution. These are the little clips where the cover goes in. You can see where I've zip tied it. I think it works better this way. They should just do a little design change to easily be able to access this cover. But you can permanently close it via these screw holes which are there and there, and you can see where I've put the zip ties uh, to hold the door. And let's take a flip through the menu. The menu is pretty simple. Um, I really wouldn't be able to explain to you what all the options are. It just basically shows your battery input, your PV input, your PV amperage, uh, your, your resting voltage or charging voltage for the battery. It shows your load how many kilowatts you're pulling right now the washing machine is uh, doing dry it's an all-in-one unit that washes and dries so it's using about 1300 watts as we speak and you can see from the pictogram that it's using that directly from the grid so that's it guys i really appreciate your continued support please remember to like and subscribe to the video it really helps me out I'm trying to make it to that 1000 subscriber mark and as always the links are in the description for everything that you've seen in this video Thanks. Have a great day.